and that's where the ooze coming off from inside the caskets. But this in here is where actually bodies would lay. You can actually look inside the vault. This is, this is too much. I'm so sorry, people. I'm so sorry. This is going to get worse. This place is going to get worse. This is devastating. Let me show you guys why this is devastating. Now, this is a place that we've been before just, well, quite a while ago. This is why. Smashed up. Smashed up. Smashed in. I don't ever tell anybody not to come here. If you want to, please do it by all means, observe. But do not do this. This is, this is a no-no. I can see why this has happened. It's because of this. That's why I've actually tied this shut so you couldn't get into the door. And with people visiting and stuff, well, majority of people visiting will be like, okay, that's cool. It's off limits. They'll just observe out and about. You know, you got more to look at. But other people don't get it. So what they want to do is they'll find a way in. I've seen this happen time and time again. And they found a way in. This breaks my heart. And look at this. Look, 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 look. Look inside. The stained glass is broken. When we were here last time, this was not like that. It was perfect. But look at it now. There's a lamp still right here. Jesus' face. Not that. Even somebody wanted to graffiti the freaking chair. From what I see, some people are still very respectful. And they'll set it back up. You know, this it's probably been knocked down many times. Still, people are pretty respectful that when they come in, they'll set flowers up. But this right here, there wasn't anybody taken out the last time we were here. It's good though that they got relocated somewhere else so there wouldn't be any vandals around and it wouldn't be like left alone since this place is abandoned. But these other poor people. And on the other wall too. This is the other wall and these people are still here. There's a sign up from this glass right here that says this, this building is unsafe. And you can tell, it's starting to deteriorate more. I don't think this was that bad with the ceiling. And that's for the ooze coming off from inside the caskets. And then it settles down right here in the carpet. And this has gotten worse right here too, is actually the chemicals and stuff that they embalm our bodies with, the embalming fluid. But this, this is just, this just breaks my heart. This unfortunately happens to some of the places that we go. You know, the last time we were here, it was not, it was not sealed shut. You can come and go as you please, and none of this was shattered. I gotta say, I know a lot of people out there really respect places such as I, such as Shani. We respect it, you know, if you're, if we had came here and the doors were wired shut and we couldn't get in, we would tell ourselves, look, we can't get in. We're, we respect that. But unfortunately, with some people, unfortunately with a lot of people, they just do not respect anything, anywhere, any place, any time. And this is actually the result of one of them. It's just going to get worse. This place is going to get worse over time. It's not necessarily that it got too popular. 
I want to say that majority of this is actually the locals. Sometimes there are people out there besides the locals who come in here just to break stuff up. But this is this is just what happens when something goes abandoned and, and, it, and it gets and it gets out there. This is this is too much. I'm so sorry, people. I'm so sorry. And for the family, the loved ones, the loved ones' families, they have to deal with this and, and be scared every day, thinking that maybe one day someone's going to come through that broken glass and is going to try to steal a body. Maybe there's personal belongings in these caskets. I wouldn't put that past some sick people, you know? Oh, they should have cleaned this up, whoever took the caskets out. They should have definitely cleaned that up because it looks like it's a sign. It looks like it's okay to vandalize seeing all this here. And maybe, no, actually, that's right. You get the slab here of like, you know, your marble. And then you get the bricks and you remove the bricks to get to the casket. That's what this is about. But still, they could have cleaned that up. I mean, come on. I know this place isn't the, the best in shape, but come on. But this in here is where actually bodies would lay. And with one of these things, see this would have been right there. How rusted it is. It would have helped as a pulley to put in or to bring out the casket. I don't know if anyone's actually really buried here or not, but I do see a vault. So yeah, this is a vault here and it still has two people. See, I missed this last time. I missed this and a couple other things, but this is, this is unbelievable. Seeing this right here, big screen TV. Another TV. Now this right here would have been the office. And you can still see a little bit of the sign a little bit of a signage right here where it says office. Still has all this stuff in there. I don't know what that is. Nighttime. It's like children's tunnel or something. Be on this side, you can see in. Uh, look at the black mold. And all these look like business cards. So let's check one out. Got one right here. Wondering what you can see in here. I don't think this part was even open. Oh yeah, it was. Because that's the door to the front of the office. You know what this is? That's what they use to lower the caskets into the ground. Of course, I don't know if that's actually part of a, a vault or not. That's the lid part of it right here. But look at this. So they used to dispose a lot of the outer casket part, like the concrete part of it, out here. They just wasted away right here. So look at this. You can actually look inside the vault. Chris, I have no idea what these are. It's not concrete. I, I don't know. It's actually uh, fiberglass or whatever. I have no idea what this is about. I imagine bodies would be in it. This is part of it. I, would, I want to believe. It's a sign. Good Shepherd. Above something. Burial Vault lawn 
enter office. I imagine it's what it says, but that's one of the signs. This is something else. I imagine that's to do with uh, vaults as well. It looks like they were trying to bury things in there. Don't know if this is a vault. If you look closely, it's like fiberglass. Don't know how light that is. Yeah, it's pretty light. Yeah, it has something to do with vaults. I'm just touching a dead person's top layer. Allergy medicine. Bottles is everywhere. I don't get why that stuff is actually in there. There had to have been people buried here because this is, unless this was a garden like, because this would be like stairs. You, you pay for services to be protected somewhere. And this is what you, this is what you get when it becomes in the hands of people who just don't care. Let's go up here and look at the outer part of the mausoleum itself. And the roof is just uh, slowly caving in, more so. I imagine if you go through my uh, video of the uh, last time I was here, I'm sure you'll see some differences on the outside. I know on the inside for sure, but someone was actually removed the last time. That one's pretty clean. Yeah, that's insane. I, I, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like that the stained glass has been messed with. Someone didn't throw things at it. It looks like someone just poked at it and just shattered it. There should be a place in hell for people like that. That's really a shame. Let's go over here and check out the other side. Again, actually this side is more fallen in than the other side. See, that was there last time. I remember, I think, one of these actually off. It was that one. And there's people buried here on this side as well. And it looks like something good's actually happening. I believe... Well, of course that is, because that's um, calcium buildup right there. But one of these also was here. I want to say one of these three. But I think another two have been taken out, which is a good thing. And here's one of the slabs of marble, like this right here. This would be one of them, which is broken. But it has no name on it, because what they would do is, if this person here, um, the loved ones would actually afford the money, raise the money to actually get the casket out and all and relocate, they would keep this as well. They have the opportunity to keep the slab. Hmm. Very morbid, but yet very, it kind of at peace when you see that people are actually being taken out of here from the unfortunate event of it not being kept up. Relocate somewhere where, you know, the families could feel safe for their loved ones for sure. 1987, 84, 95, 89. I wonder what this was for. I guess to hold flowers, I'm guessing. And that's strange, you don't see that a whole lot. Look, some of these couldn't probably afford names, so they had to have the cheap stickers uh, put on. The light really kind of brings it out, but he said it says good shepherd services. 
reserving perpetual care, the one sign that you would have up as you're leaving the cemetery. So with that guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Now, this is an update on the mausoleum and it's not looking so well. As you can see from what I showed you earlier, it's just getting worse, more vandalism. All these bodies have to go and they have to be taken somewhere, relocated somewhere where there is no problems. So with that said, off to the next adventure, and I'll catch you guys on the flip.